Daniela, how are you doing? I'm good, Ava. How are you? How would you describe your experience in Cape Town? Um, the trip with multi choice Pepsi yeah. and your fellow housemates? I mean, it was fun to be in the same space with everyone all over again, you know. Um, the atmosphere was nice. You know, first time in South Africa, so it was really, really nice. Everything was a blast, to be honest. Yeah, it was just a few weeks after the show had ended. A few weeks? It was like a long time. Was there anyone you saw there who you hadn't seen since the show ended? Since the show? No, honestly. Oh. No. As anybody? anybody? Individually, probably. How was it being in the same space again with Khaled? Um, I mean, we have spoken after the show, right? So seeing there wasn't anything different. Very short answer. How was it seeing her again? Oh. In sort of, I mean, I know you'd seen her after that, um, but you know, having to spend time again extensively with her, what was it like? Um, it wasn't any different, to be honest. Um, it was just like spending time with any other housemate. It was good. Was it awkward being in the same space with her and Dot? So I did you? Oh, not at all. How did that? How was that resolved? For me, it's like a long time ago. It's another lifetime, to be very honest. Yeah. So forever. Yeah. So was it awkward? I mean, like you I'm, said, yeah, I don't think it was, was it? Oh, okay, let's, in, in all honesty, at first it probably was, but I believe that... Have you seen it before, before Cape Town? Yeah, of course, we had seen. The crazy thing is that we had seen, like, almost the week that I got out of the house. Yeah, while I was in the hotel. So we definitely saw, and, you know, as guys, we spoke about it. And we had an understanding, it was not anything so deep like that. Yeah. Chichi, how was Cape Town? Cape Town was awesome. <laughs> um, but that's not what I heard. Really? I did hear that you did fall out with a lot of housemates hmm. when you were there. Who did you fall out with that uh, we need to know about, maybe? Um, let me quickly correct that. I didn't fall out with so many housemates. Just a few. Uh, the only person I had issues with was Deji. Deji's going to be here mm -hmm. somehow okay. in, in subsequent episodes. But I just wanted to know about Cape Town first. Before Cape we go Town. into the history. I think um, the history of the house led to Cape Town. Cape Town. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to start so from the So you are saying it's only Deji that you had an issue with it. I have not really had any issues with any house. With anybody else. Chums, is that true? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Chichi, I'm, I don't really know if she had issues with all the house. Why wouldn't you know? You're, 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 are you I a friend? Would you call yourself a friend? It's just Deji that... Would you call yourself a friend? Groovy, what's up? I'm good. How was Cape Town for you? Cape Town was lit. lit. All second, the way. It was lit. Second time being back there. Um, I mean, like, I enjoyed everything. So you had a good time in Cape Town? I enjoyed myself. You had, you had a lot of fun with Fina as well? Good memories with everybody. And Fina. <laughs> <laughs> I believe she's part of everybody. All right. Fina, how was Cape Town? Yeah, Cape Town was cold. Did you almost miss your flight too? Did I? I think so. Why? What happened? What um, were you doing the night before? What time was the flight? What time was the flight, Brian? Ah, what time did? There's separate. There's separate buses. Uh, okay. Did you fly to this? You said you had a great time in Cape Town. Did you have a great time? I didn't have a great time in Cape Town. Why not? The weather was so cold. I couldn't adapt to the weather. But you were groovy at the time. So he wasn't enough fun for you at the time? Well, at that time, let's say we were just um, having fun. And fun was good. So there was fun? Yeah, you know, sometimes when you're doing some things and you just what do it regardless. Hey, we can add it. What kind of things were you doing that were fun? Hey, we can add it. Was it? Nothing. <laughs> 
Chris Leo. <laughs> so, was there anything you observed about Cape Town and the dynamics here that stood out for you? Yes. Which one? Or what exactly? Like, everybody will be gathered here. The next thing you're seeing to it's flying, and you're like, how? Give me just one example. Like Elo Swag. Okay. Elo Swag would say, uh -huh. use your art. And I'm like, okay. I saw that. You saw it, uh -huh. right? And I'm like, what prompted that? Exactly. I don't know. And I think the following day when he said, I think it was Jabal Adekunle. Wait, like, so oh. that, let's get the story. What did Adekunle do? Adekunle tweeted something. Uh -huh. According to him, uh -huh. it was a link. Hold on. What was the link he tweeted? It was a newsletter. About what? I, your event in Cape Town. Yes, every yeah, event in Cape Town. It was everything. Okay, go on. So when I saw it, and then next thing I'm seeing a little act trending, I'm like, what did you do? What did you see that made you tweet that? What I saw was um going live, right? It's not by going live or something like that. That line, I'm like, ah. Okay, okay so he was talking about the yeah, fact so that you like guys go live too much. They go live, but they don't use their lives or something like that. So I was like, ah. Did you ask him about it? No, I just felt like, ah, just let me just use the ad button. Let me just talk to the people there. Did you ever ask him about it? It wasn't a necessary B for anything. Yeah. So just, okay. Yeah. How did you feel about his tweet? I didn't know he was talking about me. You didn't see the... I, didn't, but I didn't know he was about me. because you know, I wasn't taking a swipe at him. The live part was to my fans. So he never really always asked me to go live. And I'm like, something about some of our living going on live. Some of us want to live with... Who yeah. are you talking about? My fans. My, me. Okay. They were asking me to always go live. So the newsletter, I sent it to my fans. But apparently some other people have subscribed to my newsletter, so they took screenshots, put it on the internet, and created a narrative out of it. Oh, but even when you want that, like the whole head of our feet, or like, oh, Bob, thank you. <laughs> Most of the people are like fantastic. We love colors. New wild color. The one thing, it's still sticking with you now. Right. I think another thing that came out of Cape Town Wait, was no. this thing about a brand of tequila. Yes. That was quite interesting with you as a chef. Yes. Um, where did it start from? I don't know who knows where it started from, but I know it was about Adekunle and Shex. So let me start with you, Shex. What was it about that situation? What exactly happened? <laughs> um, obviously, we, I've noticed that he wrote in his letter. I think in his newsletter, he basically said, everything that your faves are doing is sponsored by Pepsi. Why so, did you feel it was about you that like? Because we were all doing our own things, like, let's say... Doing and her friends were going out, Ruby and Fina were going out, Bella and I were going out, like everybody was doing their own thing. And obviously your fans would be like, I'm mad, they're giving them this, they're giving them that. I don't need to act like I have so much money, but bro, I'm not being sponsored, this is coming out of my pocket. So what was your reaction to that? I said, I basically tweeted that, now me by the Azul. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Why are you saying this? Like, I was in the club, I bought this just to have fun with my friend. It was even on your low key, I promise you, Ibuka, like, Anyone that's honest will tell you it was a new look. It wasn't even a PO. I didn't know that somebody was on live trying okay. to like record it. I was just having fun. So now that sounds like shit. Because if I say everything your faith is doing is sponsored by Pepsi, it literally means nobody here is flexing without money that was giving to them. Right? Mm -hmm. So what was the intention in that? The beautiful thing, right? He just said it was very low key, which means a lot of people didn't know. I didn't know there was an Azul situation until the next day. Because and were you in the club? Yeah, I was in the club. And I'm actually going there. If were you we're all together? To, no. That's where I was going to. If we're going to be very honest with each other, we weren't in the same section of the club. So I didn't know anything that was going on at the other side of the club. And I think I was part of the first set of people to leave the club. So when I put out the newsletter and I saw the Azul issue, honestly, I was confused because I didn't even know there was an Azul situation. So when you saw the reaction to it, what did you think? Because, I mean, there was... Everybody can be wrong, right? Yeah. It seemed to everybody, and even I guess some of the housemates, mm -hmm. that you were throwing shade at people. Right. Hello, cuts his straight bullets, mm -hmm. checks, cuts his own. It was like you were literally directing things at people. That's what it looked like. Yeah, but the back of my mind. So when you saw the reaction to your newsletter, what did you think? I, I, didn't, I couldn't make sense of it because I wasn't talking to anybody. 
No, but apparently you said some some shots. We thought some people would be. <laughs> no, but you know the issue. Can I can I be fair, right? Yeah. The issue that I have with this whole newsletter drama is it happened last year in another country. This is almost a year after and it's coming back again. We were all in the same environment. Christy O was the only person that came to me to ask me how far, like, what's up with the newsletter. That's a fair point, right? I mean, that was a very clear shade. At who now? I all everybody. Know. Most people. Okay. So Azu was ringing at that point. And that's one thing about internet. I don't know how they got to know that Shex ordered Azu. Who ordered Azu? Who ordered Azu? Stay ring. So the next day, he dropped it. If, like, I wish we could even, like, read it on the screen now. It was a shade. So he tried to... But he just said he wasn't there in the same section as Shex. Yeah, because it was it all over the internet. So is it possible? You don't believe his story? It was all over the internet. So so was, everybody knew about that Azu. Yeah. Everyone knew about that Azu. So, like, he just said now, there's 28 of you guys. Only Christy O came to say, what the hell was that about? Why do you think nobody did that? Okay, but he went on the internet to say something. Why didn't he come to us to tell us before he went on the internet to, to say it? Yeah. I feel like what, what he did on the internet, people will reply on the internet as well. Out of all this, the one thing that hurts me the most about this newsletter saga is people generally didn't read it. Because at the end, at the tail end, I, I genuinely put, like, level one, I'm proud of you guys. I wish you guys well. Level two, I can't wait. Like, I'm not afraid of anybody here. If I want to say anything, I'll just look like, if I want to use my ads, I will use my ads. If I want to solve them, I will solve you directly and nothing will happen. Generally, there was a whole lot going with me. In retrospect, looking back, yes, it may have looked like, you know, I was coming for people directly, but I promise you that wasn't the intent. In conclusion, I mean, if... Three people catch a stray bullet. I can see how it looks like shit. I can see something. But on the flip side, I also think if someone does something you feel hits you, why not confront the person um, instead of making it a whole thing? But hey, palm tapping. <laughs> Your body doesn't scratch you. <laughs> so this Eloswag situation, um, you're all here for a game. Why did that hurt you differently? Can you know it's like you stayed in a room for, with, with, with somebody for like, was it seven days or five days? Seven days, we had a lot to cover. Like, Omo Baba, me, as I did like this, he told me about himself, like, Omo Kai, this is it, this is it, this is it. Also, you see your eyes, I say this, who is still friend? Let me see your hand. Uh, <laughs> so, if you can say it's a game, it's a game, but at the end of the day, it's a reality TV show. <laughs> now, our reality in our life, I say, guy, I feel like this guy, the pharmacist, that he tried it. <laughs> They pull one or two together. No, no, I know they laugh. I don't know why you guys are laughing. You can't, it's, not, it's not even like a joke. It's not even like a joke. Sorry, bro. You understand? We are like guys in the room. I don't know. I be chow. <laughs> <laughs> I be chow, you know, like my, you know, like in chows. Okay, let's go together. You be chow. I don't like in chow. Yeah. We say let's chow together. Like, it was more like, or even when you want that, like the whole head of our stick. Or like, oh, Bob, thank you. <laughs> No, 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 so like, like, I don't survive, bro. Like, I remember hugging you, like, congrats, bro. Not all two people are like, spam, so, ah. You know, that's fun, man. This guy, I'm like, guy, like, we're in the same room. You know, I know they laugh. I don't know why you guys are laughing. This is not actually a joke. I'm very serious. It's not like, I'm actually pouring my mind. Oh, okay. My first one to say, if I have a chance, this is guy I want to see, like, in top five, top, top, top one, and top two. You understand? But then, this guy called me, and I'm like, ah, ah. Eh, eh, eh. Wait, wait, no. Sorry, I don't swap. Like, ah, what's it so? So here's the thing now. So yeah. I get you. So you, oh, you, you honestly felt betrayed. Yeah, I, I, I that's fine. Okay. So, I don't swag or I don't care like you said. Okay. She still kind of has a, has a valid point because it might not have been the first or second or third week, but it was still. People pull, yeah. So apparently, it's more of like when we gain hatred in our side, we do this bull thing. So the whole house is coming out, nobody defended me until I put I'm sorry. So I offended you. Calm down, bro. It's not that deep. So it's apparently, deep. okay, well, it might be deep for you, but it's not that deep for me because Big Brother said, okay, you guys can discuss who you want to nominate. I was angry that they were all saying, you know, his name. People were mentioning some people's names. There was a time of. Um, it was cheating, saying thinner and whatnot at some point. Too. So it's it's more of like we just wanted to, you know, see the strong people go. I didn't even really have a reason for picking Fam Savi. But if everybody can remember, I cried that day. Oh, 
Do you see his point? I get it totally, but I followed. Have we had a conversation with him? We we haven't gone that far because Fanta did not pay my calls. The first time I came, my mom called. Your mom called yeah. Fanta. Can we can we settle this? This mm -hmm. this thing took an all star actress to actually settle. Wow. Yes. So it was. So you guys are settled. I think so. Okay. I don't know. Fanta B is my guy. He's my G. We're, we're Jimmy in the house. Oh, they be G. We're no. playing. So, right. can you get this now? So, I don't know if we are settled. Now, this is the valid point where he's reached out. His mom reached yeah, I, out. I actually told his mom. So, what is still hurting you? Okay, Ibuka, I came, I came across a video of uh, where Shags was like, no, you can't, you can't nominate my bro, Ruby. Like, we're tired as So, well. he fought for his guy. You, you understand my point? Yeah. Chomzi and Lebai, like, why would you not get to Lebai? I get that. You understand? And I guess so I felt but like... But he's, he's saying you guys have had a conversation, he's reached out. What more do you want from him at this point? I feel like this guy is a give up for me to me if he poisons me. So, <laughs> so, guess what I want? I, I, I hear you, but I, I want to joke so far. So, I want to I ask, ask you a question. Are you at a point where you've listened to him and you've had a conversation, you're fine? But you don't want to be friends anymore, or you're saying you're still not forgiving him. No, I don't have issues with him. Like you're just not going to be friends with him. Yeah, like because I see you can't that. trust him. So okay, that's said, what I wanted to clear up. We had the conversation. First of all, we say we will never call right for our guy, and we say everything about the house is with the hood. Yes or no? Yes or no? That was. A big dynamic um, when the levels were still separate. And it was one of those moments viewers used to wait for. Sife and Doing, you know, they meet on a Saturday and, you know, the whispers and the kisses and all of that. Now, what was that for you at the time? At the time, I mean, I was really attracted to his confidence. Confidence is a very big thing for me. And I think Big Brother corrected, I mean, he corrected Big Brother because Big Brother pronounced his name the wrong way, I think. So I really liked that. And I was like, oh, who's this guy, right? And then I spoke to him, I think, once I greeted him once when we were leaving the arena, and it was very pleasant, right? And then we met again at the party, and my first impression of him was, you know, confident and mature. And that is what I would go for. Because he also seemed heartbroken when he met. Yes. Um, what was that, especially the things you said to Beijing about him? At the time, I don't even know what I was thinking. It was very low of me to make such comments. Because I can imagine how hurt he would have been. I think I talked down on his physical looks, and I apologize for that. Like, I'm really sorry, and I've apologized to him. That was our first apology of the week. <laughs> uh, shout out to me, shout out to me. <laughs> Why were you not bonding with your level guy? Emka, honestly, I don't even know the answer to that question. I just think... Because, yeah, so, just yeah. sorry to cut you off. Because, now, I would like to look at these things from the perspective of those of us who were watching. And there's always this talk about everybody can't be wrong. And there were more people who thought that way in that level than those who agreed with you. So did you think it was something you were doing wrong? No, I don't think I did anything wrong. I think I just have a different approach towards competition in general. It's not even about the house. But I also realized that a lot of people that I was in the same house with didn't have the same mindset towards like competing, right? For me, I feel like uh, we should compete and put all our energy in our task. I felt like my housemates at the time were being very personal about the competition, and I wasn't comfortable with that. Brian, uh, oh my God. <laughs> I think it was the second week. We started talking about Diana. Oh, yeah. Um, who was at a different level. Yeah. And um, you know, you were like, oh, I didn't care about her age. The next part of the day, I'm <laughs> sure. What was it about Diana? <laughs> so to be very, to be very honest, man, like, I mean, I don't take things too hard to note. Like, I just joke around. I joke around too much, maybe. So that's just me. That's just my way of catching crews. You can't like, tell me you were joking. Ah, right. We're not joking. I was not joking. Look at me walking on now. You talked about Diana quite a bit. In fact, I was looking for Saturday. It's all about the waiting for Saturday because okay, it's in there, it's there. Well, 
He was still there. <laughs> he was still. I would say that like that's like once again like if you get to know me, you will understand that like <laughs> that like really. So that's cruise, you think? Yeah, that was cool, man. That was like, but honestly, like she's a beautiful lady now. Come on, that look at me, Gina. Fine girl, now she's a fine girl. So you didn't mind if something could have happened? Yeah, I didn't mind anything. Did you know at the time that your guy was kind of gay? Ah, <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know it was the it was the match that uh, that showed me through. All right, so Amaka, um, did you know first of all that Diana had? Anything going on with you? Well, at the time, I didn't know. She didn't tell you? No, she said he was his friend. So you felt like you were being, you know, you could trust her to do whatever it was you wanted at the time to hook up with you? At the time, without enough information, I fancied him. Because I'm not in his house to like know. And sometimes I can be very impulsive. So I really, I don't think I put a lot of thought into that. Yeah. Like she said, nothing was happening, right? Did you ask her clearly if she had anything? I again? asked her like twice, and I want to believe that nothing was happening because she still keep kept on saying that nothing was happening, even after the show, even in outside the house. So she's she's a grown woman. She would not keep on saying something like that. And she's my friend, so I would believe her. Yeah. Nothing was happening. You saw the garden situation. After seeing that, did you still think Diana felt nothing for Giddy Fire? I saw her getting mad with Rachel over Giddy Fire. So what did you think about it? And I asked her and she was like, she did not give me an answer. Like, I don't know. I don't know about the situation. I think it died in your house. So I did not get any good feedback. All I kept hearing is from people. Oh, this person got to tell me, oh, these people, they are, they are an item. But from her, the person that wears the shoes, she tells me there is nothing. Who am I to say there is something? But all I know is that he was like, I mean, he was entertaining, like entertaining the whole thing. And not behind Diana, but in front of Diana. So I really don't know what, what's going on. I didn't see nothing coming, like at all, at all. I'm not here to blame anybody to say that I didn't see it. I said, I reached when I found out. I want to just say something. You told me about Giddy Fire. Before you told me the, the, uh, regarding Giddy Fire, you asked me for Elos One, you asked me for Dotu, you asked me for Beji, you are Ruby. I'm not exposing you, but I'm just saying that for me, it was cool. When we were in um, we were in lockdown, we had the conversation. First of all, we say we will never pull right our guy, and we say everything about the house, it will be cool. Yes or no? Diana. I'm a Canadian, I don't know. I don't know what to answer you. You can't tell me to tell you yes I don't want to no. be exposed here as if you told me something. You, you I can't. wanted to hook you. When I hook you, I'm not saying you're going to be by yourself. You're not going to go and hook you. Not seriously. Because this, you can, the way you come out after, that this thing where they look good at all, at all. I want you to, for long time we spoke, some people they spoke, they said they go evict each other, they will relate them. Me and you, we spoke. We said we will never quarrel with you for a guy yet or no. Diana, yes, I will not quarrel with you because it's a guy. Even if you spoke about it, or you will not speak about it. Listen to me. And even if you had said, I told you about El Swag, I told you about this, I told you about that. Mm -hmm. Remember, I said here that the initial strategy I came with is that I was going to be a player. That's why I allow you. When so, you came to me, I could have, I was so mad with the fire that nobody, even my, even my neighbor, she would have come and say she wants to be fired, I would have said no. Regarding I knew that it was your gay, who am I to come and spoil your gay? I know her. I know him. Yeah. He's very strong and hearty pitch, like character. He don't go, go nowhere. You yeah. cannot walk with him for people. You were cool, like we did. No, we were. He didn't say cool. He said you guys You were cool, uh, let, me, let me clarify. Let's say the when first you introduce promise, Wait, 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 wait. When, when I introduced him, nothing. Me, like for me, it was like, you know what I said? But that's not what he said. And I told mm -hmm. him, and he, he knew you. because. I don't know you say this. <laughs> 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 for me, because I always told, like, told him, I say the age difference. Don't mean that I don't want to. I say I can't because of the age difference. So the age mate, make, the, make it go. <laughs> that was how the thing happened. But now for me to look as if like I went behind is not my is not my time.